Oh, hi, welcome to another episode of Leo's Talk Show, yay! Today, I've got the brilliant guest of uh, Stephen, what's his name? Stephen, Stephen Klaus? Stephen Klaus? Kla Klaus! Stephen, Stephen Lips, huh? Yes, uh, talk about uh, my idea, huh? Yes, uh, about, the, about your position, huh? Yes, uh, what do you say? Uh, it is the elements of the shapes of the film. And you use two elements uh, with are always opposite, opposite to one another. Shapes, the narrative. Example, uh, good versus evil, huh? Yes, 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 the antagonist, protagonist. Potential conflict with Charles narrative uh, great relationship with one another. It is a brilliant, uh, brilliant idea. Yes, uh, could you like the ideas behind one another, the ideal male versus female. You know? Power, dominant ideology, not this. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Ah. Oui, oui, bonjour. Mi amigo está de año, ¿no? Oui, oui, bonjour. Mi amigo está de año, ¿no? Cabela, ¿eh? Yes, yes. Bye. Anyway, I'm going to use his brilliant idea onto my own film. So, let's begin. So what I want to talk about is uh, the binary opposition is definitely something that will be used in our film. It's definitely present. The idea of uh, male versus female. Good versus evil can be also categorised in that. So the idea is that we want to show this male, versus, male and female there. It's a modern day family, sort of modern day family, yeah, modern day couple. They're both equal powered in a way, but in today's society, the man is still just a bit more powerful than the woman in this. And that's what we want present is that she's always there for him, cooking dinners, making him coffee in the morning, being a, a, a loving wife. And we want to show that he is this dominant one within the relationship and that he is the big man, as you may call it. But as we venture further in, we... um. We see the other side of him, and we also see the other side of her, and that's when the, the tension's created because they become binary opposites of one another. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're not both normal humans in society. One's this government power. She's she's a sort of a, a doll used by the government to uh, in these programs. And my boy, my boy over here, Gary, he's just like a he's in he's, he's an experiment. He's a number on the system. He's just. Experiment number five or whatever, and he's the end days a paedophile as well. When and it's that we want these two different people who so like we don't know them in a way. And in, in society, you we don't know these top government officials. She's like a, a secret agent. We and plus we don't know these paedophiles. So we're basically using two alienated characters in society what we don't know against each other, banging heads with one another. And it all comes comes into the idea of good versus evil. Which one is good and which one's evil? We'll, we, that's the idea we want to lead to the audience. Is that is she the good one at the end of the day? Because she's the one uh, reforming him. She's the one changing him. But then again, against his own will, they've mind wipes him and they're, they're playing games with his own mind. And then you look at the other side. Is it is he the good guy? No, uh, well because he's a paedophile. But then is he the victim? Because he's being used upon, like, he's being controlled by these people in the way he lives. He's like, right, that's good, you've got a new life, but does he want a new life? Does he, don't he just want to live the way he wants to be? Like, they're just completely changing the idea, and that's the idea we want in the film. So, yeah?